Hi, I'm Lucas Blakely, F1 Sim Racing World Champion for McLaren Shadow, and today I'm going to take you around a lap of the legendary Spa from Cushion Circuit. My first Formula One game was probably F1 2004 on the PlayStation 2. Um, I've had 2004, 2006, and then every single game since 2009. I've played F1 games my whole life, I've, I used to get super excited as a kid um, getting to play the new game you know, in my little wheel and my pedals. Yeah, something I've, I've had a lot of passion for these games for most of my life, so I've played a lot of them, I've seen them evolve over the years. I've, you know, uh, enjoyed learning as the years go on with, you know, the game's, you know, handling's improving, um, obviously visually, you know, coming a long way as well. Um, it's um, yeah been something that's been really cool to see and sort of be a part of in a way as a player, you know, as a diehard fan of Formula One growing up, getting to play the games and trying to get quite good at them, and then you know getting a platform to show that I guess in, the, in F1 sim racing. So I think yeah, it's uh, been really fun to be on this journey with um, playing the games through the years seeing them you know, develop, improve, whether it's playing career mode or whether it's playing uh, with friends or multiplayer or co-op, you know, it's been a great journey, something I've enjoyed a lot. Starting the lap here at the Spa Circuit, heading into Turn 1, you want to bring the car over to the left-hand side, braking just at the 100 metre board, and it's very important to get a good exit out of here as it's going to set you up for probably the longest flat-out section on the track as we head towards now the famous Eau Rouge Radion Complex. Flat out through the left, uphill through the right, just to the left on the kink, and then onto the Camel Straight. DRS open, and then you have quite a long time to think about where you're going to brake. Going into the Lacombe chicane, pulling the car over to the left, braking before the 50 meter board, using a lot of the inside kerb on the left to open up the complex, more kerb on the inside as well, and then having a little snap on the exit as we head into this tricky downhill right hander. So easy to lock up the right front as it unloads going downhill and then chucking it into no name corner such a challenging corner on the F1 game to extract every last bit of potential chucking it into pull on now 7th gear high commitment lots to be lost if you get it wrong through there now coming towards the end of sector 2 using lots of the kerbs on the inside that really is the key on this track to extracting the, the maximum potential um, of the lap time Heading to the end of Sector 2 now, utilising a lot of kerbing, you're seeing that as a common theme through Sector 2. You've got to utilise the kerbs, the entries, the exits. Makes it very, very tricky to get right and very easy to get wrong, so um, provides a good challenge. One major chicane to go now before we end the lap, picking your braking point just around the 100 metre ball, braking in a straight line, feeding the car into the apexes. Very easy for the car to get upset, but you have to try to get the car straight, pointed straight, power down, and that is a lap of the Spa Circuit. 